We're back. Uh, Amy Grimes is with us, going to tell us all about the new Riverside Hospital scheduled to open late in uh, September at a new location. Amy, thanks for coming. Good to have you this thanks morning. Thanks for having me. Tell us what Riverside Hospital is. Riverside Hospital is a long-term acute care hospital mm -hmm. here in Alexandria. Yeah. Um, currently, we are on the fifth floor at Rapids. We are um, just leasing that space, so we've been building for a little <laughs> while now. This new, beautiful, state-of-the-art, 28-bed, mm -hmm. freestanding, long-term acute care hospital. 28 beds? 28 beds. That's wonderful. Uh, we will be the only freestanding mm -hmm. hospital of our kind in the area, so that's pretty exciting to sure. be able to say. A lot of advantages to have your own space. Right. Um, we have all private rooms, mm -hmm. large, spacious rooms. Some of our patients stay with us for a little while, so yeah. it's nice for the families, visitors to come in, park right in front of the door, not but easy to far get away. To. Yeah, it's easy access yeah. for our physicians, yeah. for our staff, and for the families of the patients that we have. And right now looking at kind of a late September Late September, opening. So it's yes. getting close. It's getting very close. The final touches, mm -hmm. um, decor, and <laughs> inspections, and then we'll be ready to go. That's, and you take patients from throughout the state. Is that what? Tell us a little bit. Walk us through about the process and in, in joining the, you. It so really our fun. our hospital has a wide variety of um, patients and and mm -hmm. where our patients actually come from. We um, Medicare changed the rules a little bit on us, so now our patients aren't staying all the time quite as long. So yeah. our patients can come from home directly from a physician's office, mm -hmm. from a nursing home, just they need a little bit of acute care, a stay for a little while. Our biggest number of patients come directly from acute care hospitals across the state. Mm -hmm. okay. um, people could go to New Orleans for a procedure, they come back home for our, you know, for their recovery. Right. Our motto is giving you time to heal. Mm -hmm. So it's just that extra length of stay that they need in an acute care setting before they go back yeah. home. But sure, you know, that's around the clock care and that's often needed. Right, and a lot of times insurance are telling the hospitals it's time to discharge the patient, it's time to get them home and the mm -hmm. patient's not ready. So instead of sending them home and them going right back to the hospital, they, it gives them that little extra length of to get back care. To Correct. Yeah. Okay, I mean, where's, gonna be, where's the new location gonna be? 13 Hyman Lane is right. the address. Um, it's Yorktown Medical Plaza, the corner of Hyman Lane and Bayou Rapids. Yeah, I was going to say that's off Bayou Rap yes. Rapids Road. Right. Uh, Pretty easy access from both directions, 28 West and MacArthur. Now, can we see the pictures upcoming opening at, on your website? Yes, our Facebook page, mm -hmm. Riverside Hospital has pretty updated pictures, but it's changing daily, so I'll go post some today. <laughs> <laughs> what work still needs to be done between now and then the end of September? Just, I mean, as if you walked in, you would think the hospital is pretty much ready to open, but it's yeah. just those state. What about moving patients? It is called um, what they're calling a live move because yeah. the patients aren't discharged. They're still going to be with us. So right. it'll be a one after the other if they, um, usually probably an ambulance. So it'll, we'll have our staff at both facilities at our old and new, mm -hmm. and then a lot in between. So it'll be an, a very active, busy live Day. But I'm yeah. sure it'll be a smooth transition Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah. We've trained on it for a long time, <laughs> so, so we are prepared. We, are prepared. we will That's have our scrubs on. Amy, you also had an interesting weekend. You were I down did. in Baton Rouge. Yes, yeah. a group of us uh, joined together. Dustin Matthews put us together. Mm -hmm. Well, props to Dustin. We went to have chills talking about it. Yeah, it um, was, we it was went a real eye-opener, wasn't it? It was. It's, it's devastating. It was hard to leave because the work is not finished yeah. at all. A lot um, of work to do. We were at Victory Academy in mm -hmm. Baton Rouge, a school that had four feet of water, mm. um, and they were supposed to open the following Monday, and the yeah. flood happened on Saturday. So, there's if anybody has time, it makes a real impact when yes. you actually see it. It's it's hard yeah. to see. It's just piles of rubble and yeah. um, walls cut out halfway mm -hmm. up, if not higher. So, it's devastating. Our our state needs our prayers. There you go. Amy, thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you for being with us this morning. Good day, Sunlight. Thank you so much. Thank you. New Riverside Hospital will open in late September. More to come. We're going to tell you about Moed. We will return.